हेलो नमस्ते सलाम वालेकुम सत्रीकाल वेलकम बैक टू अनदर सेशन विथ योर वाश ऑफ एट वारेवा डॉट कॉम आई एम सुपर एक्साइटेड टुडे बिकॉज आई एम मेकिंग वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट डिशेस एंड दिस डिश इज सुपर डिलीशियस व्हेन यू मेक इट एट होम एंड वेरी इजी टू मेक रमदान स्पेशल हलीम टू मेक दिस डिश लेट्स फर्स्ट गो थ्रू द इंग्रीडियंट्स हियर आई हैव गॉट वन के ऑफ मटन डोंट जस्ट गेट बोनलेस because only in the boneless you won't get the full flavor just go and ask for the biryani mutton make sure that uh, there are some bones these bones will ooze out lot of juices and make your halim even more tastier and uh, if there are any uh, bigger bones once the halim is ready you can remove them off for 1 kg of mutton the rest of the ingredients should not exceed around 750 grams let me tell you the main ingredients here are wheat you know take around 250 grams of wheat and the rest of the dals should not exceed more than 100 grams here i have got uh, barley chana dal this is uh, moong dal this is masoor dal and uh, you know lot of uh, halim makers they also add uh, uh, urad dal wash and also some rice into this preparation but i am skipping that part and another good flavoring ingredients is rose petals you know rose petals you can also add uh, fresh rose petals if you can't get the dry rose petals that will give a very nice uh, uh, flavor to the halim and now coming to the spices these are the spices what we are going to add uh, into our halim in which i have got uh, cardamom cinnamon peppercorns cloves and this is another kind of uh, pepper uh, available in hyderabad and among the quantity of the these spices i have taken i have divided them into two parts half the quantity we are going to add powdered and half the quantity we are going to add the whole spices you going to see when i make it here i have got cumin seeds and black cumin this is the regular jeera shahi jeera and also you know some people like to add uh, sesame seeds this is optional and uh, if you wish you can add ginger garlic paste add around uh, you know 50 to 75 grams of uh, ginger garlic paste turmeric salt and green chilies and also i have uh, onion here 200 grams of onions and here i have got ghee this halim is going to be very rich that's why we add uh, ghee and a uh, lot of people like to add almost uh, 200 to 250 uh, ml of ghee by the time the entire preparation is done you know this is going to be a very rich preparation do not get intimidated by the number of ingredients it is the most simplest dish to make first thing we need to do is just 1 teaspoon of um, ghee put the whole spices into it the cumin seeds the black cumin you know we are going to roast all these ingredients till they get a very nice flavor now add all the lentils this is chana dal this is uh, moong dal this is barley and this is masoor dal and uh, now add the wheat also and now just roast all the ingredients you know on a very slow flame this way of uh, roasting they do not do in the mass production because it's little bit difficult for them but when you are making at home you want the best of the best flavor in your halim sesame seeds it this is optional if you want to add you can add to this and uh, you know make sure that these ingredients are not browned once they are uh, nicely you know flavorfully roasted just put all these ingredients into a blender now in the same thing you can add the rose petals also we are going to blend this into a coarse powder the cooking process is very very simple all you need is two pressure cookers like i am using the ones here if you have two of them your life becomes more easy you know in one i will be cooking the wheat and the lentils and with mixed with all the spices and the other one i am going to cook the meat now add uh, two tablespoons of ghee this is the half quantity of the whole spices i separated in this i am going to add here once these uh, spices sizzle little bit add uh, 
sliced onion you can chop them also no big deal in this add salt you know you want these onions to be slightly golden in color I have taken around uh, two big onions add a little bit of turmeric you know do not add too much of turmeric add ginger garlic paste add uh, around 3 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste for 1 kg of uh, meat add green chilies just cut them into two pieces and uh, just let it cook till this raw flavor of ginger garlic paste is gone now add the meat you know i like to add the meat with the bone on that will bring out a really good flavors into your halim just saute the meat for a few minutes then add water you know add water enough to cover the meat okay and the meat will also ooze out lot of moisture now put the pressure cooker lid on top we are going to let this pressure cooker give one whistle out and then simmer the flame and let it cook for one hour on a very slow flame here i have made this uh, all the ingredients into a coarse powder putting it in the pressure cooker add water enough like three times the quantity of these ingredients now put the lid on now you know you have to be very careful with this we are going to get one whistle and then we are going to simmer it and we are going to cook this for around 30 minutes and next 30 minutes of cooking we are going to cook with the lid open after one whistle just reduce the flame in Hyderabad the number one dish probably there is a big competition between two of these dishes one is biryani and halim but biryani is available throughout the year but halim is available specially during month of Ramadan this dish though not native of Hyderabad has a special place in the heart of every Hyderabadi recently I wanted to try various recipes of Hyderabadi halim and uh, I went to Hyderabad Central Library and picked out a recipe which is close to 70 year old and you will be surprised if I make that recipe half of the people will tell this is not a true Hyderabadi halim that is because Hyderabadi halim has evolved over a period of time and you know they started adding local ingredients and uh, you know build the recipe to suit the taste of local palate and what evolved is internationally famous Hyderabadi Halim you will not believe every day a plain load of Halim is flown to different cities around the world that is the greatness of Hyderabadi Halim you know one thing I love about putting in this pressure cooker is the moment the first whistle comes out you know for sure that you're making something delicious and the aroma of Halim spreads all around your house now this uh, the wheat and the lentils have cooked for half an hour and then you know remove the lid and uh, you can use this masher and uh, you can mash it little bit you know make sure that you add enough water in uh, cooking this uh, wheat and lentil or else it can burn at the bottom okay now this is fine let's also look at the meat I cooked it for almost uh, one hour in the pressure cooker after first whistle put it at a sim and look at this meat is so tenderly cooked this is perfect now we are going to mix both this uh, wheat and uh, the meat together for this I have got another vessel here you know you can put it in one pressure cooker if that is enough and uh, I am going to add lamb first fantastic to this I am going to add the wheat that is really cooked look at it this looks as if it is uh, really mashed all together we are going to cook it further and uh, you know while using this uh, masher you could also use the wooden spoon if you have especially the ones that we use to mash the dals the smaller bones you can let them remain but the bigger bones if any with the help of uh, this masher itself you can remove them off we are getting to a process of uh, making this halim awesome silky and nice you know take a masher 
and keep doing this for at least uh, you know 25 to 30 minutes. This is the only tedious process in this preparation, but the result is worth. You know, after 20 to 30 minutes of slow cooking and then mashing it with uh, the wooden spoon or uh, even the potato masher is good. Now add salt. You know, make sure uh, now this is the time you add you know right amount of salt. We added while boiling, but this is the time when you correct the seasoning by adding right amount of salt and uh, also add you know the leftover of uh, one cup of ghee into this. This is a rich one just so be generous and then add a good amount of ghee. Now again for another 15 minutes we are going to do a little bit of uh, mashing. Have little patience and uh, cook it slow. You will see that uh, slightly little bit of uh, ghee also will be oozing out. But if you want to add a little more ghee, you can add at this point of time. When you blend wheat and barley and other lentils, you can make it a little bit coarse. And also when you cook it, make sure that all the ingredients are very well cooked. If not, boil them for some more time before you add it to the meat. When they make halim in bulk, which is available throughout Hyderabad uh, during the Ramadan time, you know, they don't even add wheat. They, what they do is they add flour of wheat into making halim you know you are making it more traditional at home dear friends i am sure you will love it dear friends now the halim is all ready you know check for the consistency you know if it becomes a little bit too thick you can dilute it with a little bit of uh, water or else if it is uh, too thin cook it for some more time till you get the consistency uh, time to finish it off half of the fried onions into this and uh, you can mix it up that will add a really nice flavor. Now you can serve your halim into your plate. My wife wanted to add a little less ghee into halim, but uh, you know, I am no mood for dieting when thinking of halim, so I am adding some more ghee. When in Hyderabad, when you go and order for halim, there are two one is a plain order, one is a special order. For the special order, they put a little bit ghee on top and also few pieces of uh, fried cashew nut okay and uh, they sprinkle little more of uh, fried onions put a slice or two of lemon and finally little bit of uh, chopped coriander that's it halim is all ready dear friends homemade hyderabadi halim don't forget to squeeze in little bit of uh, lemon juice or lime Ooh, doo -doo -doo. Make this at home and tell me if you have eaten better halim than this. Dear friends, there are a lot of dishes in the world that you can make it excellent by putting your mind into it. But this is one dish you need to put your heart into. I hope you have enjoyed today's session of learning how to make this homemade halim with your washer. But remember, Vareva is all about inspiring others to cook. So please post your recipes and cooking tips at vareva.com so others can benefit from your great cooking.